Tom. Hello, everybody. Tom Fox here. Welcome back to more Banjo 2. In the last episode, we completed Hellfire Peaks to the best of our abilities. Or in general, not, I don't exactly remember which one I did. Uh, but in this episode, we are going to be getting some jiggies that we could not get before. Because we did not, not have the proper abilities to do so. Starting off with, if we head over to, I believe it's this side of, yep, of Jollies. Getting his jollies. Head down here. And now we are in the Smuggler's Cavern. And now we use our glide ability to simply get this jiggy. I thought I can get it with a Clockwork Kazooie Egg. I was very inaccurate, though. That's one jiggy down, but there is one other thing we can get here. Uh, that we didn't before, and it's not the swimming pool, um... Uh, yeah, it's not the swimming pool, uh, jiggy for the, uh, the, the, the pigs. I mean, we cleaned up the pool, so that's good. Actually, we didn't even clean it up, we just stopped the flow of sewage from going in there. The pool's still not clean. Oh, but no, there is one other thing we can do... ...here to get other stuff. Oh my god, brain. Um... Does this portal go to Atlantis? Yes! I think it, I think it was a teleporter I didn't actually get, now that I think about it. Alright, did I open? There's something around here that I need to open. I think it's this thing I gotta go into here. Because... If and we head in here... Oh god! Okay. Alright. Now, if you look up, there is a Cheeto page above the door. Can't do nothing about that right now. Uh, I'm hoping, though. Yes, there is a split pad here. Specifically for the reason of being able to glide over there. I think that's the only... I think that's the only thing this place actually serves a function for, is just for that Cheeto page. Damn, I can never time it right to be able to get the jump on the... Apex of the... Damn it! Hang on. This is... There we go! Fly, Kazooie, fly! That's the the, uh, the Cheeto page right there. Alright. Now well, we got that out of the way. Uh, there is one other area where we can get a Jiggy, and it's a place that I am dreading returning to, so... You know what? I will just uh, meet you there as soon as I exit this place because that would make for a better scene transition than just having it cut here and coming back where we're going to go. Ugh. 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 Gotta go to the aircon plant. Okay. I think it's across that bridge there. Wait, can I get up that ladder now? Yes, actually, I can. Woo! I believe it's over here. Because this, uh, this area should lead back into the toxic waste area. Oh, I hope there's a split pad here, because otherwise I might be... in trouble. In repose. Oh, wait. Is this not an actual exit? No, wait, it is. It's gotta be. It's leading down to where I can leave. There we go. Getting in the ground. Oh, boy. Hur, hur. Oh, all that hurrying and gurring. I need more Clockwork Kazooie eggs, so I'm gonna wait for that to change before I run through it. Whee! Okay. Uh, okay, good. There is a split pad here. I'm glad they're not so evil as to make it so you have to go all the way down there. Boom! My backpack protects me from the elements! I mean, it could probably protect me from elephants too, but... That's not what we're doing here. Screw it, this is faster. What? There we go! Just wondering when that was gonna happen. Alright, let me take a little nappy nap here to get some of my health back. Woo hoo hoo! Almost took a nap with the fishes is what I almost did. Alright, get Kazooie back. And I believe that is everything we can do so far. So... Oh, why'd I go out that way? I could have had the, the cool transfer to Jiggy Wiggy's temple. Like this! Woo! Right outside the palace of Jiggy Wiggy, like, just like I had envisioned it. So we're gonna go in here and we're going to do ourselves a puzzle. Oh, man. 
What could the puzzle be? Eh, there is one other thing I could do right now, but I'd rather wait until right before the final battle to do it. I'm sure a lot of you have been anticipating it, but... I don't know, I kind of want to do this without without any, like, sort of, like, cheats or whatnot. So I feel like this would be done better if I just do it uh, by my lonesome. With the abilities that I have, me and nobody else. That's a corner piece. Uh, and what the, pretty much what that ability is, is pretty much uh, Kazumi gets the ability to deal a lot of damage in a constant stream and also have infinite fire eggs. Those of you that have, that have played the game before, you obviously, you know, pr probably know what I'm talking about. You obviously know what I'm talking about. Obviously! Oh! These spells are a lot easier than I remember them being. Uh, the other thing too is I don't plan on using any of the cheats, including like upping my uh, my eggs and whatnot. You have completed Jiggy Wiggy Challenge Eight, so now the Great One will show you the way. I think I had a more bit in the back of the throat here. Ah! The controller vibrated. It was on my lap. Behold the power of the mighty Jiggy Wiggy. The Isle of Hags in the Wastelands. But where are we going? The dinosaur place? No. We are going through... A small crack in the wall here. Whoa! What kind of portal is going to open up there? That looks amazing! I mean, what's gonna happen? A bubble? That's not what I wanted. You are indeed the chosen one. You also have enough Jiggies to attempt Jiggy Wiggies Challenge 9. Was it 70? 50? 55? I thought you needed 70 Jiggies to beat this game. Damn! Significantly less than I thought. So yeah, we are heading over to the final level of Cloud Cuckoo Land. In which I'll probably do the same thing I usually do in these levels and basically try to set up for as much as possible. And then, uh, and then actually start getting stuff in the beginning of the next episode. Because that seems to be how the formula's gone for, like, the past few areas. And, like, Hellfire Peak, I like that one. This is a level that I have, that I don't have a lot of experience with. Grunty Industries, I hated it, but I've got a lot of experience with it. But Cloud Cuckoo Land, I know very little about. You can see all the levels we've uh, come to here. And here we are, welcome to Cloud Cuckoo Land. Little, uh, jelly spot here. Oh, right, that's why. So, if we come over here, it's Mr. Fit. Fancy little physical exercise for a ball? Not really. Yes, you do, Banjo! Right, I'm Mr. Fit, and I'm really fit. I am. So fit, in fact, that if you could beat me in three events, I'll give you my fitness gold medal. That's nice! It is, actually. As you can probably see, event one is a high jump bar set at my best height. All you need to do is jump over it to win. I like how he's doing jumping jacks and checking a stopwatch. Like, yeah, you know what? I did those jumping jacks in that, in that amount of time. That's very true. All right, let's get sucked into this flower here. Which sends us over to this side here. What we're gonna want to do is use the bill drill. There's a honeycomb in here, but there's also plenty of other things we can get around this area here. For example, springy step shoes. Would you think, oh, I can do the first event easily. Uh, no, you can't. That bar is actually too high for both Banjo and Kazooie to jump over, so you have to split them up first and then do the, do the event. Uh, some of these are empty. But, uh, others have another item that we need. Eggs. Oh. You know, it would help if I could actually hit the, uh, the things I'm trying to hit here. There we go, a bean! Well, I found a strange-looking seed. Ooh. Uh, is it edible? And I got the, uh, another honeycomb. Empty honeycomb piece. Dude, two more, and we'll have gotten every single uh, empty honeycomb piece in the game. It's kind of weird to think that we're almost to the end of this game. 
like just kind of a uh, just kind of a, a thought I'm having here. Come on, give me the clockwork egg. There we go. Because we're gonna need those for something later. Uh, let's go in here. This is kind of like the central hub of this area. Because hey, music notes, neat. Only 95 left to go in this in this world. Wow, there's a lot over there actually. Uh. Okay, yeah, they do allow me to- I think they allow me to get back- I hope they allow me to get back up here. U using just Kazooie. Oh, there's an ability here. Oh, and it looks like I've got to get it with Banjo. Alright. Quite a bit we could do uh, right off the bat here. Considering. Uh, I'll just- I guess I'll just jump off. Yeah. Ah! Two-dimensional being holding a sausage! More two-dimensional beings holding sausages! What is happening? Oh wait, this actually works out pretty well, because I can just do this, and then... Cusproing! Alright. And another teleporter pad. Which, actually... Alright, so there's two things I want to do here first. One... Is come over here... And sit on this egg. Uh, I forgot how to do it. X? There we go. It's a uh, trigger act. I haven't recorded this in a while, as you can probably tell. And we get this weird thing. Wow, that's a rare floatus floatium creature, if I'm not mistaken. So you probably thinking to yourself, what the hell do you do with this? Well, nothing with Kazooie. If that was what you were wondering. Alright, let me get over there. Uh, let me grab this as well. There we go. Uh, can I get up there using my- yes, uh, yes I can, good. Alright. Okay, so now we get the springy shoes, hop into here, jump back over to the What the hell is going on with Kazooie? She's flipping out. Alright, punk, you ready to have your record beat? Oh snap! How did you do that? Never mind. We'll move on to event two when you find me. I think there's only one. Up, oh, it's a sack race. I think there's only one thing in uh. I think there's only one thing in this level that requires you to set something up from the previous level, not including getting a move. All right. So while we're here, uh, banjo. So, nope, don't sleep. Bring out your bag, and then scoop up this thing. Now you scoop that up. His bag becomes light as a feather for as long as the timer says at the bottom left, uh, left hand corner of the screen there. Oh, for some re for some reason it's drifting slightly to the left. Alright, if you hit X, you just cancel it immediately. So now if we come into here... Ba-boom! There's a sign in here as well. What do you... What do you got for a hint sign? Play a seed, watch it grow. Up the beans like you'll go. What are you grunty? The sack pack. When faced by danger, jump on top. Now in the backpack, you can hop. Hold down left trigger, right trigger, and then press right stick up. Safely inside is where you'll be. That'll be all. Dismissed. I, I love that they didn't even bother rewriting the rhymes for- oh, Jesus. Uh, I love that they didn't even bother rewriting the rhymes for Jam Jar stuff to to accommodate the, the uh, N64 controller. This is clearly a port for the Xbox! Just ignore it and you'll be fine! Rhyme in a game after it's already been written is really hard! Don't ask me to do it, because I'm just a drill sergeant! Oh dear god, I just got smacked! I hear a globo! Now attack! Seriously, where is that thing? Let me get Banjo and Kazooie back together. Let's get together, yeah, 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 why don't you and I combine? Uh, is that in the water? Oh, for god's sake! Oh, I see how it is, you pop out, you kill me, and then you retreat! Uh oh, you brought friends. But excuse me, excuse me, pardon me. I can't get up there by myself. Ahoy! Is it in the water here? I hear it hopping a lot, so it's either somewhere. Okay, there it is. Whoops! Damn it! 
I'm so used to inverted controls when swimming. I was hopping away from me fast. All right. All right. So that's one of two globos. Oh, damn it. Inverted controls. Not inverted. Whatever. Uh, what does the sign say? Have you looked in this pool yet? Yes. Like recently. I mean, I, I don't understand why you need a hint for that. You can clearly hear the globo. Swim faster, numbnuts. Getting all my, uh, getting all this out of the way very quickly now. There's an eyeball there. Mr. Eyeball. Uh, nope, that's not how you do it. There we go. Riga! Uh, all right. It, ah. So you're probably thinking to yourself, oh, that's how you cool down the, or heat up the, uh, the pool, right? Nope. This is uh, for a different level entirely. As you can see, it fell down to Pterodactyl Land. And the rain kept coming. I guess it rains down in Africa. <laughs> Yippee, my pool's full of water. Where did it all come from? It came from the sky, like they said it wouldn't. Mmm, <laughs> tastes heavenly. Well, it did come from the clouds, Dippy. Did it? You said it wouldn't just drop from the sky. I lied. Just drink it and be happy. Oh, I am. Here, take my odd-shaped gold tooth in exchange. All right. And as you can see, there's a grate here, so you can't just fall through it. Smart move on the developers. They probably had a laugh with themselves about it. Like, okay, we'll drain this water out here, and then, and then, like, some guy walked forward and just fell in. Now, that's a dev story. Now, can I get out of here on this side, or do I have to go back up into... I think I've got to go back into the central area. Oh, no, I can't get out of here. Oh, good. I, I was afraid that claw clam... or uh, that uh, the uh, grip flip or whatever it's called wouldn't hit there. Oh, this is dangerous. All right, there's a flight pad here. There's a giant eyeball, and there are some zubbas. Oh, Jesus! Uh, you probably remember Zubba's from the last game. From, uh, from Banjo-Kazoo. Someone's in the air! Defend your- Defend your jiggies at all cost! So yes, these eyeballs, if they'll do it- Yep, they'll shoot stuff at you, making a very weird- <laughs> Noise. They're basically an anti-air gun. Uh, oh. Here we have a mumbo pad, but I'm not sure why. Hmm. Interesting. Ow! Screw off! What's up here? At oh! Okay. So remember how he was talking about those uh, those events we had to beat him at, Mr. Fit? Oh, that's one of the events. Uh. Yeah. Oh, another another notes. I think I'm pretty sure all the notes except for like maybe a choice few are in the central cave here That would oh god Stop trying to hit me you jerk This is very rare that I end up getting jiggies like in the first bit of oh, oh god In the first bit of like any bit of this uh, There is a switch in there uh, it's a, it's the number nine. With Clockwork Kazooie on it. Oh, hello. Super stash. Greetings, fleshy ones. Well, we're talking safe. Correct. I'm a super stash deluxe four digit infinite combination reinforced strongbox. But four digits only gives you 10,000 combinations. Hey, no one likes a wise guy. It's enough up here. Let's have a look inside, then. Oh, that might be a problem. I seem to have forgotten my own combination. Perhaps they should have just spent a little more on, on your intelligence chip. I know. Sorry, fleshy ones. But if you can find the, the combination, I'll gladly open up. 
Uh, no surprise there. It's a jiggy inside. But uh, we found one of the combination numbers already. Uh, we just gotta put a uh, we just gotta put a Clockwork Kazooie egg in there, which I believe we can do. Yes, I just gotta launch it over the other side. All right. And... What? There it is. Okay. It's through there. I might have to shoot another Clockwork Kazooie egg to get a Clockwork Kazooie egg. All right, hit the switch. What? Oh, I gotta blow it up. And the number nine. Okay. Something it is next time on Banjo Tooie. We're gonna continue making our way and uh, hopefully finding ourselves more jiggies, more whatnot. Music notes! Ow. And we'll keep finding stuff. Ooh, later.